What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back, and yes, guys, today, another day, another budget, freaking, another budget video for you guys. A center fielder budget video for you guys today. Center fielders are amazing in this game, and guys. Before us get into the video, I want you guys to go down below, comment 5k, like the video. If we get to 20 likes, once again, I will drop 10k to a random guy who comments. Needs The video needs to get to 20 likes, though. Tell all your friends, let's get to 20 likes. I'll be giving away 10k stubs to ever. No joke, I will. Just has to get to 20 likes. Needs to get 20 likes. Blow up the comments. Your boy's doing awesome videos. Tell all your friends. Let's get into it, guys. Okay. Some center fielders. That you guys need to buy right now. Hold up one second. Hold up. Okay. All right. Let's get it. <clears throat> budget guys. Okay. Number one on the list. It's not that budget, but guys, look at the card and look at the price. Okay. That is crazy, man. Look at it. I'm such a fan of this guy. I used to watch him when I was five. Like he was so good. Stud. So for so many years. Unbelievable. Highly recommend. All these cards right here. The Finley. All these guys. These are budget cards. They're 20k for 87 diamonds. If you have 20k. But I don't know. Some people don't have that. So let's get into the goals. This is these are the cards right here. If you have 20k or more, go pick them up. Also, awesome center fielders. Okay, let's get into it. Rental Kane. Eh, nah. Don't recommend this card. I really don't. He's just not good in real life. He, obviously, he's overall rising. He's just not. He hasn't been good since the Royals. Like four years ago. He's really not that good. St okay. This is a good one right here. Sterling Marte. I'm going to tell you why this is a good budget card. He's 2K number one. His contact's there. His power's not really there. But his speed's there. His stealing's there. The vision's there. The fielding's there. The arm strength's there. The reaction's there. One of the best goal budget players. Very underrated. Perfect leadoff hitter. He does have pop. I don't know why his power's so low. But... Maybe he'll get to an 84, which maybe even to the diamond this year, if he could prove himself and not get hurt. He he already proved himself. What am I saying? But he just if he stays healthy, I see him being a diamond. You should pick up this card. Very good leadoff to second hitter. Very good for a budget guy. Okay. Let's get to the next one. We got Austin Jackson. He's okay. Oh, he's all right. Kevin Kiermaier. Oh, man, he's a gold every year. And it's crazy. It's just because he's a stud fielder. He has no hitting stats every year. I don't recommend this card. Fielding means nothing. I'm sorry. All you need in the outfield is speed. Literally, that's all you need. A little speed. That's all you need. This card is pointless, guys. Literally, stay away from it. His hitting, he's not hitting the ball. If you want him just for fielding, go ahead. He's a good eight hitter. Like, he's trash, but like, I guess a good eight hitter. <coughs> Aaron Hicks. Why is this guy a gold? This guy is on and off the field all the time. He doesn't, he starts sometimes, he's benched other times. Not a gold card. He's an okay card. But why is he a gold, okay? George Springer, go get him. I have him. He's a stud, okay? George Springer is a god. You have to go cop this card. He is unbelievable. He's on my bench right now. But when I played him earlier in the game, like the first goal days, so good for solo challenges, so good online. So right now, I would say my top three goals, <coughs> Starling Marte, George Springer, and honestly... I only got two. I don't even have a top three. But those are my top top two for goals. All right, silvers. Okay. Okay. Billy Hamilton is not even that budget. He's 2K. I don't see him being a gold. One of the biggest busts in baseball. Never proved himself yet. The speed is there. Just doesn't get on base. Just look at the hitting stats. Atrocious. Only way he's getting on base is if you're bunting the ball. And it's facts. I'm sorry. It's facts. He's trash. Literally. Only way he's good, bunting the ball. Okay? So, no. I don't think he's good. AJ Pollock. Okay. One of my favorite baseball players, but he's freaking hurt every single year. How can you be hurt every single year you play the game? I just don't understand. What is going on with you, dude? What is in your body? How are you hurt every year? This guy, if he could finally stay healthy, the Dodgers are going to probably make playoffs like they do every year. If this guy... If this guy, and guys, I just got a new subscriber. Thank you guys for 150. I appreciate it. I'm so excited. 150. The grinds keep you coming. But guys, let's keep going. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you for the support. 
But man, AJ Pollock, one of the best freaking hitters in the league, so good, but gets hurt every year, half the season out, full season out. If he can stay healthy, pick up this card. He's a great, he's a great bunch of hitter, great bunch of card, decent at fielding, all around good. Go pick him up. He's cheap. AJ Pollock, it's the art type. Nah, I'm not a fan. He's okay. I just honestly, personally, if you're gonna have a contact hitter, like just co straight contact, I want the speed. He doesn't have the speed. I'm not a fan of it. Stay away from the card. He's cheap if you just want him. If you're a Braves fan, but eh, nah. Harrison, okay. This card is interesting, okay. This guy is supposedly on the come up. He's okay. He's doing okay right now. I'll see him being in the gold anytime soon in the next month. Maybe in the next two or three months. If you want to pick him up, you're a Carlos fan, go ahead. He's okay. He got the speed, the fielding. I, I see it. Contact against lefties. The power is okay. Maybe he'll get upgraded soon. Stay tuned on this card. He could be a freaking beast maybe in the two months. If he's a gold, he could be stacked. If they up his power a little bit, his contact, he could be huge. So, if you want to pick him up, not a bad buy. Really not. Alright, Pilar. Fielding, vision. That's it. Nothing else. That's it. That's all he has. The speed isn't even there. Kind of mean because he's kind of fast, but yeah. All right. Okay. Adam Eaton. Okay. Adam Eaton. Okay. He is a... I think he's the one hitter. Might. He usually was. Always hurt as well. If he could stay healthy, he could turn into a gold. He's just one of the most injury-prone players in the game. Decent guy. Okay. Alberto Omar Jr. I don't even think he plays. If he plays, he bats like eighth. Don't pick him up. Not worth it. Not good. Chris Taylor is okay, all around decent player. Honestly, the card's okay. It's it's all right. Ah, uh, there's better options. Okay. This guy, Jackie Riley Jr. Okay. What I think about this card? He needs to get traded, guys. It's Jackie Bradley Jr. Do you guys remember when this man had a 28 game hitting streak? This guy is so dissed on the Red Sox because they're so stacked. Okay, so like this guy, I feel so of his guy. He bats eighth. He's so talented. Why did the blue they bat him eighth? They have to trade this man. He could be a stud anywhere else. I just want to pick him up because I have so much respect for him. I love the man. He's a net he he has a swing and a half. He's perfect. He's fast. I don't know why he's a 61 speed, but what I'm saying is he's his batting stance is beautiful. Just go pick him up. I'm just a Jackie Bradley fan. <laughs> That's it. Just pick him up. If he gets traded to any team, he's going to be a freaking goal player in no time. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. My phone's on. No time. If he gets traded, oh, whew, easily. You'll see Jackie Bradley Jr., top player in no time. He's so good. Bats eighth, though. Bats eighth, man. I guess he's not good for the game, but he's a stud, man. While on the guards, I'm a big Mets fan. But, man, stats are just terrible. This guy's a gold glover. And they gave him 80 fielding. All right. Don't pick up the card. They freaking screwed this guy up. All right. Abdubo Herrera. They botched this card too, man. Stay away from it. Okay. Malik Smith. All right. Good leadoff hitter, man. If you need a budget leadoff hitter, go pick him up, man. He's due. He's due to break out this year. He's been traded already three times or two times. He needs to break out. Go pick him up. Awesome leadoff hitter. Awesome price. Okay, we're getting into more Leo fitters. Look at this, Buxton. Go bunt the ball. He's on first. Pick him up. One of my this is my top one of my top bronze cards. Dyson every year. Stud. 98 steel. 80 speed. Go pick him up for a Leo fitter if you need a budget card. So right now, wait, before I do that, my top three silvers. We got Malik Smith at three. We got I would say, I guess, Harrison at two. And last but not least, Pollock at three. Not the best silver cards. And if I would have a fourth, I would say Eden. And, man, JVJ dissed. I love him, but he's dissed, man. Okay. And we let's go. Let's go through the bronze cards. Kento, okay, he should be... I really think this guy should be a silver. They kind of gave... That's kind of disrespect they gave him the bronze. Delio, he's fast. Good leadoff hitter, I would say. He's all right. Camera baby, man. Oh, my God. I am such a fan of him since day one, man. When he was on the Marlins way, way back, he was so good. But this guy is so injury prone. He's been in the league for like 10 years now. He's injured every year. What is good with this guy's legs? What is good with this guy's genetics? I don't know, but he's always injured. Please, someone help this man. He's a stud, but he never, he gets dissed by every team. He's so good. He always hurt, man. 
Ian Desmond, wow, this guy fell off a cliff. If you guys remember three years ago, stud, not anymore. His average went from three something to zero, literally. Trash, don't buy him. Mayo Marco, stats are trash. Speed's there. He's all right, I guess. I'm a fan of him. Still hasn't broke out. Needs to live up to his potential. We'll see. And all these bronze cards. Scott Shedler's not bad. He has power. Good budget power card. Go, go cop that. We got all these guys. Bradley Zimmer. Not really. Jacoby Ellsbury. Whew, that guy used to be a stud. He is trash. Uh, we got Ian Happ. Ian Happ's due to break out this year. Maybe that's a good card to pick up. We got... Eh, it's honestly about it. None of these guys are good. That's really all I really got, I guess. That's it. Honestly, guys, yeah, that's all I got for you guys. But, yeah, let's just go over my top three bronzes. Let's go. Kenta Morte, I would say. Dyson and Buxton. Right there. Those are my top three. I love Caribbean, but... Yeah, no, these are, they're really just leadoff hitters, these, these three. Highly recommend them just because they're good. Keon Broxton, he's all right. But, yeah, you could get him, too. He's on the Mets. Mets, interesting. But, yeah, go cop all these guys if you want some nice leadoff hitters. All these center fielders looking like some leadoff hitters. So, I guess they're really good for leadoff. But, we'll see. If any of you guys cop any of these budget cards, let me know. Tell me how they play. Maybe I'll do some gameplay with budget cards. I don't know. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for more. You know your boy Bugs is popping right now. So, peace out, everyone.